Hey guys, it is Tuesday, so if you have been with me, you know today is a grocery haul. If you are new, welcome. My name is Vanessa, and every single week I like to share a grocery haul, and most of the time I try to attach the meal plan as well, so you can kind of get an idea of what these groceries are for. So this week is a little gloomy and rainy. I utilize Walmart Plus, had them deliver my groceries for me. Definitely helps to keep me on budget like, and not picking up a whole bunch of extra items. So I have all my groceries over here on the counter. I'm gonna show you guys the meal plan first and then I will pop up individual prices so you guys can see what everything costs at Walmart. All right, so I do utilize a meal planner that has a detachable grocery list, but my kids are constantly asking me, what is for dinner, mom? So this has been working out great. I just tell them to look at the board. So these are the dinners that I have planned for this week. Now I plan starting on a Monday. I do my meal plan and grocery shopping over the weekend for the most part. Um, sometimes I'll get my groceries delivered on a Monday and then that's what we start our dinners, but the board is Sunday through Saturday. So I'm gonna share with you guys going this way, but just so you know, when you're seeing this, it's Tuesday. So we should be having nachos tonight, <laughs> but um, on Sunday, we're gonna have tilapia, ranch style beans, and broccoli. We have a ton of cans of ranch style beans. I bought them in bulk. And then we do have several bags of frozen broccoli in the freezer. So those are two easy things that I can pull out and use as a, as a side to something. And then we have like half a bag of tilapia left. So that's something that we'll be able to finish off. I didn't have to buy anything for that. All right, Monday, we are having meatball marsala, mashed potatoes, and salad. Now, this is a meal that I was so excited about last week, but I never bought potatoes. <laughs> I just completely forgot about it. We didn't have any potatoes, and I didn't want to make that with anything else. I think it's gonna be really, really good with potatoes. So that's what we were having on Monday. Pulled it from last week, and then I bought, you guys are gonna see a salad to go with that. Tuesday, we're gonna have nachos. I've got a big bag of chips in the pantry. We've got plenty of ground beef, taco seasoning. I just needed a few toppings for the nachos, so we are good for Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, I'm actually getting every plate delivered. I do work with them. They continue to support my channel often, but I utilize them outside of sponsored videos. So these are three actually dinners that I am receiving this week and I kind of combined two of them. We are a family of six, we get a serving of four and normally I will, depending on the dish, I'll just add a little side and we are good to go. So Wednesday we're gonna have a garden herb chicken and this is a type of pasta, cava tapi. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. And then another meal is Cobb salad. It does come with chicken, but I'm gonna use that chicken for my dog. So it kind of like is a win-win. We get to have a nice salad with our dinner and then I'll have some chicken to add to the dog food. Then Thursday, this is a, a vegetarian meal or like a no meat meal. So this is something that my oldest daughter will definitely love to eat with us. It is a creamy coconut chickpea curry. It looks so good. I'm really excited for this one. And then we have these little Little non bites. I had them in the freezer. I pulled them out. They're in the fridge and that we will be able to get rid of something else. Trying to utilize what we have as often as I can. So that's for Thursday. Fridays they put leftovers or FFY stands for fin for yourself. Um, just because I know we'll have, we might have a few leftovers. I don't know. I pretty much eat leftovers for lunch for the most part. Every now and then about once a week, Paige and I will get lunch together. Paige is my oldest daughter. She is out of school already and she does work outside the home. She has a job, but we try to get together once a week for a lunch and eat lunch together. So um, outside of that, we I do utilize leftovers a lot. So if we don't have enough leftovers for everybody, that's when like mainly the kids, the hubby and I will eat leftovers if there's anything and then the kids will kind of pick something. If we have anything in the freezer um, that I can bake real quick for them or sometimes they have cereal. That's just what they love. So anyway, that is on the meal plan for Friday. And then Saturday, I put question mark next to Six Flags or Fiesta Texas. If you are in the San Antonio area, we received season passes last year as a gift for my mom or the end of last year. So they're good for all of this year and we have yet to try to go. Like our schedules, the weather, everything, we just haven't been able to go. So I keep trying to put it in whenever I know that um, we can try to make it there. So hopefully it is a little rainy right now when I'm filming this. I'm actually filming a Monday morning. 
So hopefully it is not still rainy or yucky come Saturday, but Six Flags, um, and normally when we go, we'll be there all day. So we will be eating at the park. But anyway, that is our meal plan for this week. Definitely did not need a whole bunch. So let me show you guys what I got from Walmart. All right, here is everything. So again, I will pop up prices so you guys can see. We'll start over here. I am almost out of K cups and that's a big no, no in my house. I love coffee. So I got the Starbucks caramel flavored coffee. I have a lot of little syrups that I add sometimes if this flavor isn't super, super strong. I like to add a little bit of syrup to really maximize on that flavor. And most of the syrups that I have go really good with like caramel flavored coffee. So I went ahead and got this one. There's 22 pods in there. Needed some sour cream for one of our dinners and as well as the nachos. So I got a 16 ounce Daisy sour cream. All right, so I'm actually gonna be making a few things in my air fryer and that's gonna be a video coming up maybe in a week or two. It just depends on when I can get to the recipes that I would like to share all in one video, but one of them call for fried pork skins. So I went ahead and got the Max pork skins and hopefully the, that recipe turns out. I got some string cheese. The kids love snacking on this. And then again, I needed it for something that I'm going to be making up. So this is the Sargento um, mozzarella string cheese and there's 12 in there. I'm getting low on onion powder and I use onion powder in a lot of things. So um, definitely whenever I'm making any kind of ground beef or ground meat, I add a little bit of this and some garlic powder when I am cooking it and it just helps add the flavor and it helps with the smell of cooking raw meat, <laughs> at least for me, I don't know. Smell is a thing for me. So I went ahead and got some more onion powder. Needed some Grand's biscuits for a recipe. So I got the Pillsbury Grand's Southern Home Style. This is something that you guys see in pretty much every weekly haul, two gallons of whole milk. Coming down here, I needed some egg roll wraps for um, something that I'm gonna be making in the air fryer. And if they didn't need to be vegan, um, everybody in the house will eat any type of egg roll wraps. This is just the only option that they had and there are a ton in here. So I hope they freeze well because this is just something that hangs out in the refrigerator. But like I said, hopefully they freeze well because I definitely won't use this many by the end of February. So went ahead and got that. This is what, so my daughter Rose loves to make her own, like mix up her own chocolate milk. So this is the syrup that I get for her. It is the Hershey's Simply Five syrup. Got that, we were out. Normally I get the big thing, but we actually have a little bit of orange juice left over from last week. So I just got another small one. Um, normally it's like the big container, but anyway, just got that to get us through another week. And the Simply Orange is our favorite brand. It just tastes the best in our opinion. We got the pulp free. The kids are not huge fans of pulp. And this is the 52 ounce container. All right, this is actually something that my husband requested. Oh, it's so gloomy out. I have all the lights on. It is still super dark in here. But anyway, my husband's making himself like little snacky plates to take to work and he wanted some salami. So I got this one just because they are nice and like snack size. They're real tiny. He definitely enjoys these. So this is the Margarita Italian Dry Salami. And then, okay, so I had heavy cream that I was utilizing in my coffee and then I bought half and half to change up because I don't want to buy the creamer anymore. I'm just trying to change what I can where I can. I still like to eat and I like my desserts and things like that, but things that I can switch out and be a little better on, I'm going to do that. So if you guys have any suggestions on like a creamer, I still want something creamy to add to my coffee, but let me know what you're using that has like really good ingredients and not a whole lot of calories. So I found this and I thought my daughter loves almond milk and she likes to add creamer to her coffee also. So that's why I got two of them. Cause I don't think, I don't know, she like uses a lot of creamer. I only do maybe, what is the serving size? Two tablespoons. I don't even think I do two tablespoons. I just do a quick like boop and then that's it. So I thought that one wouldn't make it through an entire week. So I did pick up two, but this is the Califia Farms, no sugar added better half it's coconut cream and almond milk so it's a dairy free half and half but it is like vanilla flavored so smooth and creamy it does say let's see half and half is uh, i think it's 40 calories for two tablespoons this is only 15 and then i mean i know you guys can't see those ingredients but i have not done any research on ingredients or anything like that for a creamer but 
Anyway, this is what I picked up to try. If I like this, if it's good, and um, then I'll just start picking up this instead of the half and half. But anyway, got two of those. All right, we are out of pickles. All right, so I had a huge container that we got from a bulk store, and I am so, I don't remember being this clumsy, but I feel like the past maybe this year. No, I think, I think I did a few things in December too, but the past couple months I have dropped so many things, broken things. Like, I don't know what is going on. My vertigo, I, I don't know. I'm off somehow. So we had a huge thing. Now we had eaten like half of it, but there were still at least like 15 yeah, I would say at least 15 spears in there. And we have a refrigerator in our garage. So that's where we kept it because it's like a huge container and it takes up a lot of space. So I went out there, grabbed it to bring in the uh, last week when we were having sloppy joes and I dropped, I tripped, I don't know. There's a little step down into the garage and I, I, I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I go out in the garage. I mean, it's not like it's the first time I've ever been out in the garage, but when I was coming back into the house, I guess I didn't pick my foot up enough and I totally fell to my knees coming into the house, dropped the pickles, whoever had it last, no idea. Me, Pearl, Mark, we're really the only three. Paige and Bryce, Paige, Bryce, and Rose do not like pickles. Well, Rose will occasionally, but she's not one to go and get herself a pickle. She'll just eat them if they're out with whatever we're eating. But anyway, whoever had it last, probably me, I don't know, but the, the lid was not on completely, like all the way, and it totally busted open. Pickle juice everywhere, pickles everywhere. The dogs were starting to lick it up. It was a hot mess, <laughs> let me just tell you that. So anyway, long story, you know, for a short story, but we needed some more pickles. So I went ahead and got the kosher dill spears. Clausen is our favorite brand. Oh, and the reason I'm telling you that story is because I did a, um, at the very beginning of January, I showed you guys everything that I had that I was working with in my fridge, both fridges, the pantry, the freezers, all of that. So I didn't want to come in here showing pickles and somebody remember that we had that huge thing that was pretty much full and you, and they commented like, man, you really eat a lot of pickles. I mean, yes, half of us love pickles, but we don't go through a huge thing like that in less than a month. Like it would have lasted us two, two and a half months. So <laughs> I just wanted to point out the reason why we're getting pickles is because I'm a klutz and I drop them and they, you know, obviously I'm not going to pick them up off the floor and eat the pickles, but anyway, got those. All right. Now we've got some <laughs> produce going on over here. So I did get some bananas. I always get them in sixes when I like order them online. I just asked for six. We're a family of six. If everybody wants one, there's enough for everybody to have one, but I'm really the main one that eats the bananas. Here's the bag salad that I picked up to go with our dinner on a Monday or tonight because I'm filming this Monday morning. I got the chopped salad kit market side and it is the sunflower bacon crunch. Now what I normally do when it comes to salads, if I get a bag kit and it has normally it's just bacon, if it has any kind of meat in it, I won't add it into the salad. I'll leave it on the side for those who want it to add to it because my daughter Paige, she's gone through you know quite a few phases of what she likes to eat what she doesn't like to eat and right now it's just no meat like she will eat dairy she will eat things that have um, sometimes that have like animal products in them but mainly it's just no meat so I will leave the bacon off to the side but that way she can enjoy this salad and doesn't feel like she has to pick out <laughs> all the bacon pieces and then I was gonna get a head of lettuce and I probably should have because this looks really really sad but this was actually cheaper and we didn't need a whole lot this is for the nachos so I just went ahead and got the shredded iceberg lettuce instead of getting a head of lettuce because like I said that was more expensive um, and this is more like it's gonna save me some time and I'll have to chop up a head of lettuce so I got that but hopefully the majority I mean, it looks really good other than like this little front part right here there's i wouldn't have picked this bag up but the rest of it i was like shaking it around the rest of it looks fine so it'll be fine for the nachos here's the potatoes that i forgot to buy last week for our meatballs so we got some organic gold potatoes i just got a small little three pound bag i won't use all of this actually i might use all of this for mashed potatoes because that way we have leftovers and all of my kids love mashed potatoes so i got that some grape tomatoes we still have a little bit left over from last week so i just got a small one of this and then i was going to get avocados but sometimes i need them to be ready by tuesday and like i said this is monday so i was like uh 
You know, somebody else is picking my groceries for me. It's not like I was, I didn't add like a little note. Sometimes you can add notes to the produce, but I didn't add a note. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get already made guacamole instead of avocados and making it myself. So this is the mild guacamole and wow, it lasts a really long time. I mean, unopened obviously, but April 5th. So we are gonna use this on Tuesday though, but that looks really good. I don't, I feel like I have picked up the store made guacamole before it's just been a hot minute so all right that is everything not a whole lot but that's what we needed to get us through another week for my a family of six all right guys now i need to put this up because i am in full-blown cleaning mode today like my hair is up i've got a t-shirt and like lounge pants on and i am cleaning the house from top to bottom because i am going to film like an updated house tour our house has had a lot of changes made to it since the last like actual home tour outside of like a holiday tour so i figured i would do an updated one for you guys so i'm just cleaning it getting it ready. It's not gonna be spick and span, but I'm gonna try my best to do what I can. So that's on my agenda today. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you like grocery hauls, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. Like I said, I do share one of these about once a week. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.